my name is Brigitte Mars and I'm going to talk about a subject that doesn't get discussed in public that much and that is the use of psychoactive substances. We're calling this DVD Sacred Psychoactives. For so long, many decades, there's been a campaign of just say no, but we know that that's not how it is for most people and what we really lack is some sort of education on how people, if they are going to use these substances, might use them in a safe way to minimize harm and to increase the likeliness of a positive experience. So I'm delighted that I get to be a spokesperson for safe use of psychoactives. We know that the use of consciousness altering substances is inherent not only in humanity, when we see children spinning around at the park until they lay down on the ground all dizzy, that is altering consciousness 101. We also know that animals will seek out fermented berries. They will eat catnip, especially not only cats, but wild animals as well that are felines like jaguars and mountain lions and panthers. And that certain animals will in Africa will dig up iboga roots for an altered state of consciousness. So rather than just say no, how about let's have some real talk and real discussion on how these things could be used if they're going to be used. First of all, my friend Terence McKenna, author of Food of the Gods, used to say, these substances are not for everybody. Most people are really better off just leaving things, these things alone. So rather than psychoactive substances being something that everybody should use, realize that this is not a substitute for working on your stuff, for working on relationships, for doing counseling and therapy. That's really the prerequisite to be in a state of good health and good psychological balance. This is not medicine for people that are already dealing with lots of trauma unless they are with the care of an experienced guide. So the word psychedelic actually comes from the Greek psyche, meaning soul, and delin, meaning to delve into. So I like that interpretation. We sometimes hear the term hallucinogenic, but you know, a hallucination is something not real. I break for fruit pies. I, I know I've seen a bumper sticker in Boulder. There's not really fruit pies on the street. I've even seen a bumper sticker that said, I break for hallucinations. If you are having hallucinations, you should not be driving. <laughs> so, um, but another term that is growing in popularity is entheogen, meaning to recognize the divine presence within. And sometimes people just kind of sweep the floor and say that drugs are for people who want to escape from reality. And yet we are bombarded with commercials constantly. You watch an hour of TV and you are seeing, you know, ask your doctor about this pill or that pill. So we're obviously sending a lot of mixed messages into our culture. Now, psychedelics I do not see as being escapist. If anything, they tend to intensify what's going on. Therefore, before anyone were to consider their use at all, it's very important to create what is known as safe set and setting. So set and setting is all about being with people you know and trust, about being in a place that's safe, clean, because things like dirt and ugliness and negative vibrations could really be intensified. I teach at a university called Naropa University and I teach at many other institutions around the planet. And one thing I often ask my students is how many of you have had a positive experience using some sort of psychedelic? And I usually get maybe 80% of the young people raising their hand. And then I might ask how many of you have had a difficult, dangerous, frightening experience and I might get about 20% of them raising their hand. And then the next question is always, how many of you who've had a difficult, dangerous experience could say that had a lot to do with where you were in your life, what 
space you were in, such as what room or, or building you were in or where in nature you were, as well as were the people you were with someone that you could feel comfortable and trusting. So we often think of the words of Timothy Leary who popularized turn in, tune, turn on, tune in, and drop out. Later in Tim's life, he changed that term to turn on, tune in, boot up, because he really felt that computers were going to be the future and help catapult us into the next stage of evolution. So people like Tim, Dr. Timothy Leary and Ralph Metzner and Ram Dass really talked a lot about was the importance of creating set and setting. And to create the ideal situation for a session might really involve days of preparation where you clean the house, where you have some easy to digest, beautiful, healthy food available. It's so uh, apparent how ugly a lot of processed food and uh, food with artificial chemicals might look when you're in that sensitive state. 